The final thing I want to talk about is this new immigration policy. Donald Trump now wants to crack down on legal immigration, not just illegal immigration, but legal immigration. And the idea is to make sure that the people coming into the country are going to be net contributors to the economy, right? That they have skills that are in demand, that they that they speak the English language so that people who are coming in are going to be a positive addition to our society. They're not coming in just to be on welfare and to commit crimes. Now, I agree with that, right? I, I, I would like to make sure that nobody comes into this country and becomes a citizen or gets a green card if they're just going to go on welfare and food stamps and, and stuff like that. What, what do we need that for? But I disagree that we only need engineers and computer scientists. We need everybody. I mean, they're, believe me, I mean, if it wasn't for immigrants, we'd have nobody picking fruit in the fields. I mean, there are a lot of jobs that American citizens won't do because they'd rather get welfare. And I don't blame them. I would rather get welfare than work most of these low paying jobs that illegal immigrants are doing. Right. And in fact, some of those illegal immigrants would probably rather get the welfare, too, if they could. But I guess when you're illegal, you can't qualify for it. Right. You're not even supposed to be here. So you're not supposed to be getting welfare, though. I'm sure there's so much fraud in our welfare system. I bet there are a lot of illegals who are collecting welfare. But that's that's beside the point that I'm trying to make to say that we only want to let in higher skilled technical people. That's wrong. I think we should let in everybody who wants to work. Now, you have this idea or this theory out there that, well, that's driving down wages because, you know, immigrants are coming in and they're working cheap. And because they're doing that, uh, the wages are lower. If there were no, let's say if immigrants didn't come in and do all these low paying jobs that Americans would rather collect welfare than do, if employers didn't have the ability to hire these people, then wages would have to rise to the point where they were high enough so that an American would want to get off his butt and actually take the job. So people think if we just keep the cheap labor out of the country, then wage rates are going to go up and then we're going to have you know better jobs. And now people, you know, let's say I'm on welfare right now and there's a job that pays eight bucks an hour and I don't want it. I'd rather get welfare than eight bucks an hour. And all these you know, immigrants are taking the eight bucks an hour because they don't have the choice. And let's say the employer couldn't hire the immigrants. Maybe the the wages would go up to 15 bucks an hour, 20 bucks an hour. Now, okay, well, that's better than welfare. I'll take that job. Right. So that's what people think. But that's not what's going to happen. You see, if the illegals or immigrants are not here to do these jobs at these lower wages, the companies aren't just going to pay, you know, extraordinarily high wages to Americans. They're just going to shut down. They're just going to outsource. They're going to, you know, move their businesses offshore. In fact, there are a lot of higher paying jobs that exist only because there are lower paid immigrants, some of them illegal, who are doing the doing work that are making those higher paying jobs possible. So you take away a lot of the lower wage workers and that's the base of your pyramid. The whole thing comes tumbling down and a lot of higher income uh, people don't have jobs either. And also, I've said this before, you go out to California, how many uh, people, how many women have jobs because they have illegal housekeepers taking care of their kids when they're at work? If a lot of women who have jobs in California had to hire legal child care, they couldn't afford to work. They'd have to quit. It's only because they've gotten illegal uh, taking care of their kids that they can afford to leave the home and have a job. So a, ho- a lot of things would happen. But I am sympathetic with what Trump is trying to do. It's just the wrong way. It's not just, you know, you have to be high skilled. And even I don't even care. Just you don't have to speak English. I mean, what if you're coming in to pick fruit or to clean dishes? You don't have to know English. There are jobs that you can do in America without speaking English. Right. So I don't mind if if somebody who only speaks Spanish or, you know, whether that matter, Italian or French or whatever they speak, if they want to come into this country and they want to work, let them come, right? More people working is a positive for the society. You know, and then when people are saying, well, you're driving down wages, you have to remember, wages are prices. It's the price of labor, right? If you can hire people for less money, you're better off. I mean, think about it. Forget about it from an employer. Most people can relate to certain things. What about a babysitter? 
Don't you want to be able to hire a babysitter for less money? I mean, the cheaper the babysitter is, the more likely it is you can go out to dinner with your wife or you can go out to the theater or you can do something, right? If you have to pay a babysitter a lot of money, you might not be able to afford to go out because you can't afford to go out and pay the sitter, right? If your sink is clogged and you want to, and you want to call a, a plumber, do you want the plumber to charge you a lot of money or a little bit of money? Obviously, as little as possible. If the plumber is going to charge you too much, you're probably going to try to do it yourself. You can't afford the plumber. I mean, the same thing. You take your car to be repaired. You know, you want the mechanic. You want a low price. People shop around. Lower wages are good. Remember, the price that you pay to have your car fixed, those are the mechanic's wages. Everybody pays wages. All consumers pay wages when they buy products. And we always shop around looking for the lowest price. So if wages are coming down, just think prices. Wages are coming down. Prices are coming down. That's good. So to the extent that immigrants come in and do more work, and because they do more work, prices come down, people have a higher standard of living. We can buy more stuff when it's less expensive. So this whole idea that we just, you know, we don't want lower skilled people coming in, that's not true. But what I would love to see Donald Trump do is have uh, immigrants. So if you come into this country, you can't be on welfare. You can't, you know, do, do, we don't want someone to become legal. Let's say we let somebody, okay, you're immigrate into the country, you're here. But for you're not allowed, or maybe for the first five or 10 years that you're here, you can't get welfare. You can't get food stamps. You can't get any of these government programs, right? So you're coming in here without a safety net. You want to come in here, you want to take a shot at working, take a shot. But if it doesn't work, go back to your home country. Don't just stay here and go on welfare. See, that way, people coming to America aren't going to come here for a handout. They're going to be coming here for the freedom and the opportunity to work their way up the ladder. That's what Trump should be talking about. Not, you know, because when he talks about, well, I want to make sure they speak English. Now, all of a sudden, they all play the race card. Oh, this is all about racism, right? And you, and you talk about we want to have skills. Now, I do think, yes, you know, if somebody has special skills that are in high demand, maybe you let them go to the front of the line, right? Because we, you know, certainly some of these higher end jobs are going to be more important to the economy. But overall, we want to let all able-bodied men and women who want to work to come into the country, right? And of course, you know, I mean, we don't want criminals coming in, make sure we're not letting in, you know, people with criminal records or terrorists. But if somebody has got the gumption to come over here, right? Because they want to improve their lot in life. They want to better themselves. I want that person. Let that person in. Let that person go to work. What I don't want is someone coming in just to go on welfare, to go on food stamps, because I got to support that guy. And I don't want to support them. I, I'm fine supporting my own family, but I don't want to support somebody else's. So if you're not going to come to this country to support yourself and support your own family, then don't come in. But don't think you're going to come here and then force other people to support you. That is the distinction that Donald Trump needs to be making.